We start, Jalen, with the comeback of the night. The Nets had a 17-point lead in the first half last night against the Celtics. But Boston coming back. Look at Jalen Brown. So game one for me with the Celtics winning was about skill. Jason Tatum passing and scoring. Game two was about the defensive will led by Jalen Brown and the tenacious defense that held KD and Kyrie down the entire evening. You saw KD dribbling it off his leg. That's Jalen Brown with another bully ball bucket. Boston making that run. And then Kevin Durant missing here. He was 0 for 10 from the floor in the second half. Worst shooting half of his career, regular season or playoffs. Then Jason Tatum knocking that down. So Brown had 22, Tatum had 19, and Marcus Smart on the night that he was named the defensive player of the year, doing it on the offensive end with a big bucket. And the Celtics have taken a 2-0 lead, coming all the way back from 17 down to win it. And so again, Jalen is here, Michael Wilbon. But Stephen A., I'm going to start with you. The story clearly is Kevin Durant 0 for 10 from the floor in the second half. He has had back-to-back, -back, the numbers would suggest, the worst consecutive offensive games of his career career. Mm. Stephen A., what's your reaction? I'm devastated. That's what I am. I'm in a situation right now where I'm, I'm scared to show up for NBA countdown. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to hear that. I don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to face Jalen Rose yes, and Mike Wilbon uh -huh. after after all this noise that I've been talking about. Kevin Durant, the greatest player in the world, and all of that other stuff. I can't say that this morning, and I'm willing to say this: if he continues to play this way, the way that he has looked in games one and two of this series. I can never talk about him being the best player in the world again. This is this is some alarming stuff that we are witnessing. We are watching a Boston Celtics team get all up in them. I don't want to hear about the blitzing. I don't want to hear about the double teaming. I don't want to hear about any of this other stuff. The fact of the matter is, Kevin Durant, even though Boston is stout defensively, they're the elite defensive team in the game, and Udoka is just showing off about what a great young coach he is. The fact is, is that Kevin Durant is not seeing something he's never seen before in his career. And in nearly a 1,000 games in his NBA career, he has never looked this bad in back-to-back -back games. These are the playoffs. This is your team. OK, this isn't a situation in Oklahoma City where you got a guy like Russell Westbrook uh, who's got a strong personality and there's some combativeness going on there that you've got to deal with. This is not heaven, which you were in in Golden State with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson as your teammates. You decided to depart. This is your team. This is your franchise. And to go up against the Boston Celtics in the first round, I'm not talking about losses, guys. I'm talking about how he has looked. It is scary how bad Kevin Durant has looked and how humbled he has been in this series thus far. He got to change it. He's got to turn it around. I got to believe he can, but I have never seen Kevin Durant look this bad. I am shell-shocked, and I have nothing to say in his defense, not anything because of what I have seen. Michael Wilbon, how about you? Stephen A. didn't want to hear about blitzes or double teams, so you damn well going to hear about them. You're going to hear about them right now and on countdown when I text you later today. What did I say to you guys when we picked who we thought was going to win this series? I don't roll with teams that don't play defense. The Nets don't play this kind of defense, and the Boston Celtics are harassing Kevin Durant into these performances. I'm sorry. I know y'all aren't as old as me, but Jalen's going to identify what I'm about to say. This looks like the bad boy Detroit Pistons bad harassing Michael boys. Jordan early in his career. The uh -huh. great Michael Jordan, who was an MVP-level player then. Who Kevin Durant is not the greatest scorer of all time. James Harden is not the greatest scorer of all time. Michael Jordan is. <laughs> and what did those teams defensively in the playoffs do? They And by the way, the Brooklyn Nets, where are the screens? Where's the ball movement? Where's the hard cutting? I told you guys at the start of this, I'm not rolling with a team that doesn't play defense. I'm rolling with a team that does. The Celtics are playing great defense. They are harassing Durant into these numbers. You think he's got to get better? I don't. They've got to get better, Stephen A. The ensemble of the Brooklyn Nets, starting with the coaching staff, trying to figure out ways to free up Kevin Durant. They better get busy right now, but or they'll be down 3-0. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.